My name is Ryan. I've fallen in love with the people, food, cities, and culture of China. It's such an amazing country with such a rich history. One could travel for years and never see all the cultures, eat all the foods, or hear all the amazing dialects spoken here. I hope you enjoy this video. Please drop a like and comment if you do, and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of my future adventures in China. So today, I'm going to take you to one of Shanghai's last remaining underground markets, fight over the purchase price of a replacement watch band, look at some very good quality and also very cheap jerseys, and explore this expansive market that has literally hundreds of shops. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get to it. So it's actually quite hilarious. Uh, when I ask a lot of my friends about, you know, hey, where can I find those markets where you can find perfume, bags, all those things? They all unanimously declare to me they don't exist. You can't go there anymore. They're closed. But I'm starting to realize that's because of what they've heard on TV and the news. But no, 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 you go online and you can certainly find recent reviews of places at certain subway stops underneath and within the subway station themselves that do in fact have athletic jerseys, uh, name brand bags, cologne, and they all appear to be pretty decent. So if you guys need some gifts, reach out, let's chat. There are various entrances all around the subway and they differ immensely in size, shape, and design. Some older, some newer, and it's very easy to get lost with some corridors black, kind of like a flea market, and others well lit and much more like a shopping mall. Some of the generalized areas include jewelry, optical, and clothing. And when I first came to Shanghai and checked this out, it was amazing. The intensity of the market, using my Mandarin, and also just a great place to buy things you couldn't find elsewhere easily. Special price? Special price? Can you ma? Wow, show the jumping tienda. No, actually, what I want is a new watch band. A new watch band. So I just come here to kind of check it out, yeah. check out the market, record a video, and yeah. also maybe get a new watch band. You took a video for what? For me, for your government, <laughs> for U.S. No, but what did you do? Fang zai bili bili, just like that. Really? Yeah, but not my. Bili bili. Yeah. Bili bili station very famous now. We won't put any little fang zai with the shipping. We won't cut cut you out. It's <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 呃，我喜欢给美国人看，呃，我在中国的经验就是这样的，在这里可以买好多东西啊，就是应该应该来跟他们讨价还价，很好玩儿的。美国没有这么多这样的社交，开了吧，没开吧，应该没开，都在关门。对，都在关门。为什么这么多？这是 COVID 的影响吗？还是春节的影响？哦、oh, ，really？ OK。我现在都是 on the line。竞争很厉害的。对 it's, 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 So it's not fun, but so culture dies. Culture dies. You're right. You know, you can't talk, have fun, enjoy. In America, still, it's like there's no t a j a h u a n j a Yeah, no interesting things, fun things. Exactly. Now, what Guang Guang? Can you come up? Thank you. So I had a long discussion with those ladies, in particular about why so many of these shops are closed, and I found out a few things. The first of which is basically it's New Year's. So many people go home during the holidays of Chinese New Year's. No one's here to run the shop. Second of all, COVID had a huge and lasting impact, and they only opened up this market like last year. And finally, maybe the most important and most dangerous is the fact that there's so many websites that sell similar goods online now, and really contributing to the death of this type of market. Excellent watch. 啊、uh, ，可以修好吗？啊，我修不来。啊、oh. ，在那边那边有个会修表的，但是他在哪里啊？没来，没来。你新年肯定没来，你这个什么东西坏掉了？都换个皮带。对，皮带，对，换个皮带，对。三、嗯、十块钱。几十块钱，好、oh.。不要啊！把你的脸放在里面嘛，不可以，不需要。没事，没关系。哦、oh, ，你不太好啊！哇、wow, ，好，帅哥，好，感谢你 ，Thank you so much。下次见。<laughs> that guy was absolutely incredible. Apparently, he used to do watches, and was extremely helpful in kind of telling me what I should pay for a band moving forward. Not only that, he also pointed me in the direction of the shops that would likely be open. Uh, this guy hollered at me about some Legos, so I figured I'd go in and check out what kind of Legos this market actually sold. You want the Lego? So many goodies! Wow, this is Chinese brand, right? 对，跟那个 Lego 一样的。哦，一样的。他们的你可以放在一起的。哦，对对对，明白了。我比较喜欢中国的牌子，是不是？我觉得很有意思，因为你应该在中国买的。<笑>做好这个就是跟 LEGO 一样的。哎、啊，对，我的意思，如果我有 LEGO， 也有这个牌子，我可以放在一起吗？那我没事。哦，没事的。OK， 我没有没有那个玩个真的不知道。你没有回你家乡过春节吗？哦，没有。没有。
。哎呀，那个、孩子那个十五号就要在上海哦，好，要返哦，明白了，你要需要玩具过来找我，反正你那你姓什么？姓陈，陈。我是刘莱恩，啊、哦、好、okay ，谢谢你直接跟我讨价还价就是这样的。你姓我我我姓陈，我的英文名字是杰森，杰森 ，Jason，Jason，Jason， cool， OK， 好，直接告诉你，我新年快乐，我再来啊，好的，可能是两天三天 ，maybe 周末的时候，可以 ，OK， Jason， Thank you， Jason， Thank you。So that was an awesome experience. Jason and I spent about ten minutes talking all about his toys, his plans for the holidays, and the current underground market situation in Shanghai. I'm sorry. Do you need a purse wallet? 不需要。不需要。对啊。对，差不多。对。我跟你商量不是吗？ And the aggressive salespeople are appreciated, and certainly part of the culture here, and something you have to be ready for before going into the bowels of the dragon of this underground market. However, not all want to be filmed, and this lady promptly kicked me out right after inviting me in. Oh, 好，好，没关系，我去外面，好，好，谢谢。And they really do have every conceivable brand of luggage, T-shirts, and sports equipment you can imagine: Patagonia, Superdry, Colognes, and apparently even some toys. But I was really in need of finding a watch repair shop as well as a jersey shop. But after an hour or so, I was still striking out, and I was honestly starting to lose hope. Speaking of aggressive salespeople, this lady marked me as I walked by, approached me, and I began to explain to her what exactly I was looking for. Obama, you know? 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 So I don't want to bother others. Do you understand? Oh, oh, you now don't want to buy, right? No, definitely. Just want to look. Oh, okay. Is it far or far? Not far. Just go. Just go. So this lady actually promised me that she had connections to everything I was looking for if only I followed her. So another adventure began. Thanks so much for watching, guys. That wraps it up for part one. In part two, we engage in the ancient art of Taoja Huanjia, or haggling, for my watch band, and get VIP access to the underground sports jersey store. Be sure to like and comment, and subscribe to join along for upcoming Chinese adventures. Thanks again. We'll see you guys all soon.